to this forest. To many, she was the grandmother of the nation. And she would always have time for us, her people. Her first visit to this borough was in 1962. This marked the rebuilding of the then new Barking train station, which had opened a year before. The Queen visited us again in 2002 as part of the Golden Jubilee celebrations and inspected the restoration of Eastbury Manor House. For me, the biggest occasion was in 2015, when she chose our borough to mark the 50th anniversary of London boroughs here in Barton and Dagenham. She visited Chapel Heath Community Centre and opened it for the volunteers of the borough. Sydney Russell School had five children from every one of our schools meeting Her Majesty. And then she had lunch with invited guests and residents of Barkin and Dagenham. On that day alone, over 15,000 residents came out to pay respect and tribute to Her Majesty. It has to be said, with all the most difficult of planning for a royal visit, there was some humour. So let me tell you what happened on the day despite our careful planning. The royal party, Prince Philip and Her Majesty, had just arrived and was introduced, introduced to us, who were waiting to receive her. I was told I had 20 seconds to walk to the lift so she could take a break with Prince Philip before continuing with lunch. However, as all good plans go to pot, someone decided to press the button on the lift I stood there nervously, it's fair to say. Wondering what to say, I said to Her Majesty, I never thought I'd be standing here waiting with you, Mum, to catch a lift. At which point she laughed, thank God. And we both laughed. And what seemed like an eternity, the lift finally came, and she was able to go on before we started the next part of the series. But probably the biggest moment was when I asked her a question whilst we were walking from the Barking Broadway Theatre to the swimming pool she was about to open. I turned to her and said, I hope you've had a lovely day with us, Mark. And she said, I love coming to the Old East End. This has been the warmest reception since I can't remember when. That's how she felt about residents of Barking and Dagenham. Every one of us will have those special moments to treasure. In our lifetimes, these events do not happen very often, thank God. But another moment, which I'm awfully proud of, and it's fair to say, her Majesty was very fond of another person on the borough. One Bobby Moore. You can see that in the photo as she's handing over the World Cup to the England team. Some say she was Claret Blue. But as we offer our thanks for her service and share our memories for what she did for this borough, our country, and the Commonwealth. We now need to look to the future. His Royal Highness, King Charles III, is no stranger to this borough. As former pupils from Robert Clack School have told me that he visited us in 2007. I'm proud to say we have worked with Prince, the Prince's Trust over many years as the Prince of Wales. He's now the Royal Highness 
and has led on green agendas for many years. And I know that's very important to our young people, Barking and Bank. I look forward to our new king visiting the borough with the countless opportunities to celebrate us. It could be the new film studios opening or the iconic free markets of London, Billingsgate, Loosefield or Smithfield opening here in the borough or even the World Food Store. Whatever the case, one thing I know for sure, he will have the warmest of welcomes from the residents of Barking and Dagnam, the same as his mother did before him. Thank you. you to join us in singing God Save the King.